If I asked the Wingcraft community which class can go the fastest across the ocean, I'm sure that 99% of them would say that TP Mage is the fastest by a long shot. And after a bit of experimenting around and comparisons, the answer is, well yes, but actually no. And the reason why I say that is because of the results of this comparison here. In the top left corner we've got TP Mage just going across the ocean flat. On the top right we've got Archer doing escape spells. On the bottom left we have TP Mage but flying in the sky. And on the bottom right we've got Warrior spamming charge on the ground. Well in the water but <laughs> you know what I mean. So the expectation that we all had about TP Mage just going flat on the ocean is faster than Archer doing escape spell. That is true and it didn't surprise me one bit at all. But here's an interesting thing. I found that using TP Mage and flying in the sky, aka in the bottom left corner, is actually slower than Escape Spell Archer, and slower by quite a bit as well. To put it into perspective, it was actually slower than Charge Spam Warrior, which really really surprised me. And another fun fact is that this recording and the editing of the comparison was something that I actually did quite a while back. I think I did it a couple of months ago. And the reason why I decided to do it now was because of the mobility spell changes in the 1.19 update, such as Mage's teleport spell getting changed, along with a couple of other bonus things, such as Warp's minus 92 teleport spell cost ID, along with Idol's minus 100% charge spell cost. And just to be annoying, I'm gonna not say exactly what the difference is, so you have to watch the whole thing in order to see the results. <laughs> As you can see here with the results, TP Mage going flat on the ocean was 10 seconds faster than using Escape Spell Archer. However, doing it in the air is so much slower. We can see right here that Charge Spam Warrior finishes at 2 minutes 16 seconds, but you can see TP Mage in the sky still hasn't finished yet. So we can see that the angle you look at whilst doing TP Mage has a big impact on how much time it takes to cover the same distance. And only now is TP Mage about to finish with a time of 2 minutes 34 seconds. That's nearly 20 seconds slower than Charge Spam Warrior. So to conclude, I think these are some pretty interesting results. I might do another one of these videos when the 1.19 update hits, but I'd rather wait until the official update comes out, just in case they change things up a little bit.